Hello, it's Mr. Payne with another fabulous IXL tutorial. Today we're working on IXL C6, integer multiplication and division rules. All right, we got ourselves a pretty simple IXL tutorial, so watch carefully as we go over the rules to make this really easy. Okay, the first rule is when you multiply two numbers, let's say you multiply a positive number times a negative number, it's going to give you a negative. Now, if you multiply two positive numbers together, so plus times a plus, well, it'll still give you a, a positive. Now, the only other case that could happen is when you multiply a negative times a negative. And when you multiply a negative times a negative, that will give you a positive as well. So what's the key here? When the signs are the same, they're going to be positive. And when the signs are different, let's say in the case of positive and negative, then the answer is negative. All right, so one more time, because we're going to do this real quick, just knowing how to do it. Different signs, pick negative, and the signs are the same, whether it be both positive or both negative, well, we're going to go ahead and choose positive. All right, so here we go. We got a positive 8 and a negative 3, so they're opposite signs, so therefore they're going to be negative. So we're going to go ahead and choose negative. All right, we got ourselves another problem. So here we go. Opposite signs, negative. Opposite signs, positive and negative is negative. See how fast this goes. It's fantastic. Opposite signs, negative. We got a positive and a positive. Same signs is positive. A positive and a negative, different signs, negative. Different signs, negative and a positive is negative. And same sign, both negative, is positive. Remember, same signs are positive. Also, same sign, the positive times the positive remains a positive. And we have a positive times a negative, opposite signs, which will give us negative. Ooh, they're trying to make it scary. They're trying to give us a really large number, but the numbers don't matter in this case because all we're looking at is a negative and a positive. So opposite signs is negative. And same thing, opposite signs, one's positive. The negative 14 is negative, so different signs, choose negative. And opposite signs, we got a negative and a positive, so therefore it better be negative. And our last problem, 280, we have a positive and a negative, therefore negative. And there you have it, one of the easiest IXLs I've ever done. You're going to have a great time with this one too. All right, this concludes the IXL tutorial for C6. Have a fantastic day.